Hey everybody, it's Mishta with some more madness, and that's really bright, I guess. Okay, here we go. That's a little better, I guess. <laughs> hey, um, I'm about to leave to go to the doctor's, and I figured I'd try to get a little video in. I'm a little bit nervous. It's not a regular doctor visit. It's to see if I can change my meds. I've been on the same meds for probably about 16 or 17 years. Um, just after my son was born, I went on these same meds. They tried to switch me a couple times and I had really bad reactions. So this is, makes me a little nervous about trying this. Um, I'm just trying to be honest. I really, I'm trying not to have a bunch of anxiety, but you know, there's a little bit there. <laughs> and I'm gonna try to ask all the right questions about side effects or mostly about restrictions and how common these the meds will be you know usually they try to get you on like one pill that's got three different things in it and that's what they usually recommend these days not to have multiple different pills and right now i'm on three different pills and one of them is pretty old school as far as um when they do you know when they give out meds now when they prescribe them they don't usually prescribe this one i think it's called norovir and it's like a, a booster so Unless it's in something else, they don't usually prescribe it with other stuff this, these days because the stuff that they make now that's better meds are strong enough to not have to have a booster. So, yeah. Um, so I hope this makes sense. I'm a little bit nervous, but I am kind of excited too because it would be nice to maybe have something that my T-cell or my viral load can stay just you know, undetectable, but my T cells could go way up and that would be really great because that's my fighter cells. And they've hovered around four to 500 for a lot of years. And I would love to see them in the 1500 range because that would be really great. And maybe then I wouldn't be so tired all the time or so, you know, just achy and everything. So who knows? I don't know how that all works. I believe that your T cells can fluctuate anyways. But even as a regular person without HIV, but with HIV, they still fluctuate, but mine tend to hover at the lower end and I really would love to get them up a lot higher. So that's a goal if I get to switch my meds and if I don't, then we'll just keep them the way they are. And I mean, Travada is one of the biggest meds out there. It's one of the ones that they use for prep and for prevention. If you're with someone and you think you might be at risk of, contain of getting HIV, then they put you on this pill. So Truvada is a big one. And hopefully whatever they choose to put me on, if I have side effects, I can go back. <laughs> so today's a big day. And I just wanted to do a super quick video. And, you know, just tell you what's going on. Because <laughs> it is kind of a big deal. So hope I get to have good results. <laughs> So thanks for watching and have a peaceful day and I will give you a follow up after this visit. <laughs>